This is the new E-Unit DJI version from Cadex that has the DJI camera included. A few weeks ago, Cadex said that they were bringing back the DJI camera, but didn't really explain what they meant by that, but made it available to purchase. So what I did was bought one and it has finally arrived. Today, what we're going to do is take a closer look at this kit, but more importantly, try to understand what this camera is. Because Cadex said they have brought the camera back. So what we don't know is, is this the original DJI camera? Or is this a new version that Cadex have manufactured based on the Cadex Micro or possibly the Nebula Pro? What we're going to do first is unbox it and take a quick look at the kit, but we're not going to spend too much time on that. We're then going to actually dive into the camera, get the back of it and have a look at what it is. And then at the end, I'll give you guys some footage just to compare this to the DJI one. At this point in time, I haven't opened it. I have no idea what to expect. So if it is identical inside to the DJI one, I'm probably not gonna spend too much time on footage. However, if it is different, I will put a bit more time into making sure it is similar or how it compares to not only the DJI camera, but the Cadex Micro as well. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, so to get inside the box and have a look at what we've actually got here. Now, to be honest, I'm not expecting anything dramatic when we actually get inside. I'm expecting very similar to what we've seen before. Now, I ordered the original ear unit. I didn't order the Vista version of this. It is the newer Cadex packaging on this, including having that scratch off section to verify. Not really interested in checking that out in this one but I did look at that in the Polar video. Okay, so in the box, we've got a set of instructions with the links to the manuals for Cadex. We've seen that before, no change there. Inside, we've got the ear unit, which again, all appears to be manufactured by DJI. Model number appears to be exactly the same as well. No real changes there. And then we have the camera. Now, this is said to be the DJI camera and look the same. What I can tell you up front is it does look identical. Let me just get my actual DJI camera to show you. Although that is attached in an aircraft, so it's a bit harder to show. Actually, I'm probably going to have to get that out in a minute. But having had a quick look, it is having had a quick look, it is the same. Looking around the sides. The lens setup, everything looks identical so far. So the next thing we want to do is get the back off this and have a look at what's going on. Now, before that, I just want to look in the pack and say we've got the usual DJI antennas and we've got the usual cables as well with some screws. So again, exactly what we'd expect. OK, let's get on and let's get the back off this camera and see what we actually got. OK, so I've just brought it in a bit now so you guys can see. I haven't pulled this off. Now, I will know pretty much instantly if this is the DJI one or not. What we're going to do is pop the back, lift the cover. And looking inside, there we have the inside of the camera. And my initial thoughts is that that is the same. It looks almost identical to the original DJI camera. Let me just go and have a look on some images on the website and we'll put this up on the screen for you. Okay, so just comparing that for you, just so you can see initially, and we will stick it under the microscope. If I just turn it that way so you guys can see properly. From the back end, this does a look very much the same. In fact, it's basically identical if we're looking at the uh, information on it. And what we're going to do is hop it under the microscope just to get a better look. And I'll put some higher res images up for you guys now as well. So putting both the original DJI camera, which is this one here on the right, and the new one that had shipped with the Cadex A unit on the left, you can see 
that they are basically identical. There is a little bit of foam on this one, on that connector that goes to the front. That is on this other one. It's just come off and it's stuck to the back plate. But if we look inside, the markings are basically the same. There really is no differences here. Looking around it externally, again, everything is the same, including the strange little lens with the notches on it around the outside. You can see that there, again, is exactly the same. Spinning it over to the top, popping it there. Basically, as far as I can tell, this is the DJI camera. We don't know who manufactured the DJI camera originally. We assume it was DJI. Perhaps it was Cadex on DJI's behalf. That we don't really know. But what we do know, looking at this, is this basically is the same. We'll jump under the microscope just to have a bit of a closer look as well. So as you can see, we've got both cameras under the microscope and we've got the new one from Cadex on the left and the original DJI one on the right. And just like I showed on the overhead, it's the same. It is pretty much identical. In fact, it's not pretty much identical. It is identical. We have all of the same component layouts, everything in the same places, the same solder mask, the same markings, all the same test points. We do have this QR code located on this camera here and it is here. You just can't see it because of the gunk for the screw, which I don't have on my one here because this one actually was a pre-release camera before the system was even released. This was actually a beta camera because I was part of that. However, as you can see, overall, it really is the same. Now, I could take this backboard off and delve in deeper to see if there's other end changes. However, I just don't feel the need at this point. As far as I can see, this appears to be the same as the DJI camera. I need to go and have a look at the footage, but at this point in time, I see no reason to doubt this is going to perform any differently than the original one. Just to show you a quick bit of footage from both of these cameras on the bench, though I do want to add, I made a bit of a mistake here and I forgot that the settings for the cameras are stored on the camera themselves and I ended up recording the DJI Cadex in 4x3 and the DJI camera in 16x9. However, Overall, the image quality is the same. I've spent some time looking at both of them on the bench and there is no difference I can see at all. The only thing I will add is my DJI camera, the one on the bottom right, does seem to have a bit of focus blur in the bottom end of the image, something I've not really noticed before. However, the Cadex DJI one looks completely clear. So, as you can see from the footage in here, it looks identical. Now, my original plan before finishing this video was to take this new camera out for a flight. However, I've done some more playing and checks and I'm at the stage of not really feeling the need to. Everything is telling me that this new camera from Cadex is the DJI camera. It is identical in every way I can tell. The PCB is the same, the housing the same, the lens is even the same with the little marks around it. I can find no difference at all. Overall, we know that this camera was unique in the way it was designed and the other cameras that came from the other manufacturers like Cadex were very different. For instance, the Nebula Pro was an entirely different design and then that design was modified to make the Cadex Micro, which was the sort of replacement for this camera for a while. However, Cadex have said they've brought this camera back and we have what appears to be the DJI camera once again. Now, DJI's design and their manufacturing is very unique. And when you look at the PCBs on DJI stuff, it's quite easy to tell who made it, if it's DJI or if it's another manufacturer. This camera I've got here is the original DJI one I had as a pre-release when I tested the FPV system. This camera was actually in my hands before it ever reached the public. Yet, the new one is identical. So it tells me it was made in the same factory. We don't know is that Cadex or is it DJI or is it another partner, but what we do know is that it's the same. We're at the stage now where we have a lot of interesting things happening with the DJI FPV system. 
DJI do seem to have become a bit more hands off on the system and they're really leaving it to their partners. So this camera has either come from DJI, in my opinion, or whoever made it originally for them. But they're allowing their partners to distribute that rather than actually ship it themselves. We're seeing it with all the different ear units. So we've got Cadex now shipping their version of the ear unit, which is the same. And we've got Runcam with their Runcam link, which again, is a Vista. So DJI have really handed this system over now to their partners or their OEMs, and we're seeing them deliver the equipment rather than DJI directly. You can still get the ear units from DJI, but still at this point, they don't have any listings for cameras. What's really good news here is that we finally have a 120 frames a second low latency camera available, which we know is good, and it is available to purchase. You can buy it either with the DJI Air unit like I did, you can get it with the Vista, or you can get it as a standalone as well. One final note I just want to mention with regards to this Air unit, again, it's identical, but it did come in to me with quite old firmware. 0300 was the version, and I did end up having to upgrade it to the latest firmware, but it does say something interesting that they are still shipping with quite old firmware versions, and the Vistas, for instance, are not. They're shipping with that very new one because we believe there's been a little bit of a hardware change as well. Anyway, that's it. So, 120 frames a second camera. If you want one, the same as the DJI, go get it. It's available now. Don't worry, it's not a different camera as far as we can tell. Go for it, and I'm sure you'll be more than happy. Now, that's it from me. If you've liked what you've seen, please do consider supporting the channel via Patreon or buy me a coffee in the description. There's also a link there to my Discord server. If you'd like to join that and come over and say hello, it would be great to come and talk to you. And finally, if you'd like to support us, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the little bell and give us a like as well.